Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be cooking. I'm making lunch and I found this new recipe on Pinterest. It is, hold on one second, Cuban chicken with black beans. I'm actually supposed to make it with quinoa, but I'm not in the mood for quinoa today, so I'm making it with white rice. And I actually have the rice going now because it takes a bit. Uh, but here is a picture of it. And like I said, this is on Pinterest. I made this the other day and it was really, really good. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I don't really follow recipes unless I'm making cookies or something. So I loosely follow the recipe. Now, you're supposed to make the marinade and marinate the chicken for like 20 minutes up to I think it is like 24 hours. I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to kind of make this marinade and cook the chicken in it. it. That's what I did the other day and it turned out to be really good. So what you're going to need is some chicken and because I'm making this just for myself I just have one chicken breast that I'm going to be using. Um, I will list the ingredients down below but I'll quickly run through them. For the marinade, you're gonna need some honey, some lime juice, and some zest, some pepper, and some soy sauce, garlic, and cumin, and some orange juice. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get started with the black beans too. Um, again, like I said, I loosely followed the recipe. I didn't follow it to a T. There's also a guacamole uh, topper that I'm going to make that I stole from another recipe that I found on Pinterest. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the black beans before we do the marinade. So I decided to hold off on the black beans until after the chicken because I just remembered the other day when I made this, I actually cooked the black beans in the same pan that I, that I cooked the chicken in. And the combination of the spices and the leftover from the chicken, it just really made the beans taste good. So I'm going to hold off on the beans until after I cook the chicken. Alright, and then for the chicken, I'm going to show you how I mix the spices up. Now again, you can follow the recipe if you like. I'm not going to follow it. I just am going to kind of throw things together and wing it like I did the other day. Hopefully this doesn't annoy anybody. It's kind of the way that I cook. Um, what I do a lot of times is I just, I taste things as I go, you know, so if I feel like it needs more salt or whatever the case may be, I'll just keep adding. Sometimes I end up, like when I made it last week, I had a lot of marinade because I just kept adding things. Um, but I just kind of like to experiment with recipes, so bear with me. Now what I do is um, I'll taste it to make sure that it kind of tastes the way I want it to. I don't like things to be overly sweet or sour. So that's actually not bad, but I can really taste that orange juice. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the lime juice. That's actually really good. A little bit more salt. Adding that little bit extra lime juice really helped. All right, so there's the marinade, and it actually tastes pretty amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do with the chicken here is just kinda cut it in strips to begin with. I'm just turning the pieces of chicken on their side and cutting them in half. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan here, not too much. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the marinade. And I'm gonna let this simmer for quite a while, actually. It smells really good. All right, so while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the avocado. So I have two avocados in here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Fage, I think that's Faye, right? Anyway, um, I'm going to add some of this to my avocado. I'm going to add about that, that much. I might have to go in and add more. We'll see. Then I'm going to add some of the lime zest. I'm also worried about catching my fingers. And I'm just going to go ahead and split this in two and add some of the juice here. I'm 
then I'm going to add some salt. I'm actually using big bits of sea salt here. And a little bit of pepper. This is not um, part of the recipe, but it, it tasted amazing um, mixed in, so I'm going to add some of this in as well. And then because we're not actually measuring anything here, you want to taste it as you go, just to make sure that you have it the way you like it. I did go just a little overboard with the lime zest, but that's okay. Um, once I have everything sort of mixed together, like in my bowl, it's not gonna matter, it's gonna taste amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna get started on the tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some grape tomatoes. Now this isn't part of the recipe, but I love grape tomatoes and they just add that little something extra to any dish. So I decided when I made this last time to cut some grape tomatoes up and sort of add it in as like a topper with the um, avocado, it was so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut some of these in half and I'll use these on top after everything is done cooking. So what I'm going to do with the tomatoes is I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. We'll toss in a little bit of cilantro. And then I'm going to let that sit in the refrigerator for a little while. So now what I'm going to do is let the chicken finish cooking and then once that is done I will show you guys how I make the black beans. Alright, once so the chicken is done, uh, as you can see I left the uh, oil and seasonings in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop the black beans out and then I'm going to pour a little bit of the liquid in, not too much. All right, and then what I'm going to add to the black beans is a little bit of salt, pepper, red pepper. I'm also going to add some more garlic and I'm going to let this cook for a while so it gets thick. One thing I did forget to tell you guys is that I'm cooking this on a low heat. I know it's boiling, but it's kind of like a... I have an electric stove, so it's on number two right now. So it's kind of a low, barely medium, I suppose. Um, as, as far as the chicken goes, the chicken I cooked on a low to medium heat as well. So the beans are done. They thickened up quite a bit, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and put our bowl together. Well, that was a fail. I thought I was recording, turns out I wasn't. So what I did was I added a layer of rice and then I went ahead and put my chicken in. Now I'm gonna add some beans and I'm using a slotted spoon to put the beans in. And I've got the beans just in the corner here, like so. And then I'm gonna take some of my avocado and I'm gonna put that right over here. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes kind of right in the middle. All right, you guys, so here is our bowl put together. I love how colorful it is. I don't know about you guys, but when I have food that's colorful, it kind of makes me happy. And I really want to eat what's in front of me. So I can't wait to eat. I was just thinking of ways to eat this. You could actually put this in a wrapper, like a tortilla wrapper. You could put this in a taco shell. You could. Take nachos and just eat these with nachos or twistitos or whatever. If I wasn't so worried about the extra calories, my husband bought this massive bag of Tostitos at Sam's Club, but they taste so good. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it and it's making my mouth water, this would be amazing with what I just made. These are Salsa Verde. They're so good. You owe it to yourself to try them if you haven't already. So anyway, just some ideas on how to eat your bowl. Or you could just take like a massive spoon and shovel it right into your mouth, which is probably what I'm going to do. All right, so I gotta see how the chicken came out because I cooked it different than I did last time. And it's much better this time. And I'm not just saying that, it really is. I think this is one of those things where it's just going to get better each time I cook it. And I have two dogs staring at me right now. So anyway, if you guys make this, you have to let me know how it turned out. I think you'll really like it. I'm also going to link the recipe down below for anyone that wants to try this out for themselves. So that is it for today's Pinterest video. I hope that you guys found this interesting. And again, if you try it, 
please let me know if we're friends on Instagram. You can always take a picture of it and tag me so I can see your creation. So, all right, you guys, that is it. I'm going to go eat. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Have a great day, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.